Greetings creeps and welcome to the Terra Television. We are back and mostly alive. Jordan Peele's Nope hits theaters and the Universal Studios backlot today. Now there is much speculation about what this is and what this is not. I missed out on all the really cool Nope stuff last week uh, since I was out of commission for the week. Some real FOMO happening over here. <laughs> But I cannot wait to check it out. Please don't spoil it for anyone. Let the mysteries of Nope unravel and unfold as they were meant to. On that note, everything we've been given is real suggestive of alien shit. I'm not saying it's about alien shit. I'm not saying it's not about alien shit. I'm saying Jordan Peele wants us to go in believing that it is in fact about alien shit. So in that vein, we dove deep into the archives to unearth extraterrestrial horror. This will either prime you for aliens or satiate and quench your thirst for lack of aliens. Either way, I got you. You're taken care of. Your alien watch list and archives await your eyeballs. Hey comic book fans! We've got a brand new webcomic going up every week from Rob Sacido. Werewolf is a horror comedy and we've got chapters 1 and 2 ready and waiting for you over on the site right now with brand new chapters dropping when? Werewolf Wednesdays, of course. We've also got a sneak peek at the Sleeping Beauties graphic novel volume 2. Sleeping Beauties is a novel by Stephen King and Owen King. That novel was adapted into a comic book series. That comic book series has now been collected into two separate definitive graphic novels. Volume 1 is already out in the world, in the wild. Volume 2 drops later this month, but you can take a sneak peek inside right now. Trailers, spectacles, the Halloween Ends trailer dropped this week just a tad early and as we scrambled to get it ready for your ohos, I couldn't help but wonder, Lori versus Michael for the last time, but is it really, really the very last time? The last time ever? Hmm. Skepticism increases. We've got callbacks, we've got flashbacks, we've got baby got backs, we've got garbage disposal foo. Listen, it's a good time, it's a Halloween movie, I think it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun if that's what you're in the market for. But I'm gonna be pissed if they kill Laurie off. I'm just saying, cannot kill Laurie Strode. Jamie Lee Curtis said people are going to be angry about something. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's just a musical. They threw a musical number in there and people are gonna lose their fucking minds on Twitter. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Just don't kill Laurie, okay? Halloween ends when? October 14th. Just hearing those opening notes on the theme gets me all giddy. <laughs> I purposely did it off so we don't get sued for copyright, okay? The trailer for They Them also dropped this week. We've got Conversion Camp Horror. That one will be dropping on Peacock and we're gonna have a lot of fun stuff for that in the magazine and on the website. Comic-Con peeps, attention Comic-Con peeps. Fango friend David Datsmalchin will be attending Comic-Con and doing a free Count Crowley signing. So make sure you stop in, say hello, and get your copy of Count Crowley. I really need to do a Count Crowley cosplay. There's also a very cool panel happening at San Diego Comic-Con. It is the Ethnogothic Horror and Conjure in Storytelling panel. Featuring Fango contributors Tanana Reeve Du and Leah Anderson, Leah also does our Beware the Swallowing column, which you should also check out. In other news, we've got more Fear Street on the horizon, confirmed. No premise and no word on whether it continues the storyline from the kick-ass trilogy we got last summer or if it's something totally different. Either way, we are stoked! Big shout out to Nitty and Gritty in Upland, California. I walked in, marveled at all of the 90s goodness horror on display, and lo and behold, a rack and stacks of fangos in the wild. It was a glorious sight to behold. To be honest, I almost cried a little bit. To be even more honest, I say almost, but I, I can't say that I did not get a little misty-eyed in, in the store. <laughs> Show me your fangos in the wild, tell me some cool shops to shout out, um, because it's a really cool thing and we want to celebrate that. And with the brand new issue dropping, uh, it's kind of the perfect time to go fango hunting. Prime fango hunting season. Show us those fangos, fangos in the wild. Alright, that's all I got. Be safe out there, gang, and I'll catch you next week for more The Terror Television. Weddy, ready, weddy and waiting. Weddy and waiting, werewolves. <sighs>